Hey, what's going on, everybody? In this video, we are checking out So Rare NBA Game Week 26. And for week 26, we are checking out the contest right here, same as last week, where you have two common contests plus a specialty common contest. And same with the limited as well. And then two rare contests in here. So we're going to talk all about that and also in these videos I like to give you guys a little update on NBA Top Shot because I know a lot of my subscribers are into Top Shot and also so rare. So update here, a lot of stuff is actually keep going up on Top Shot. I made a video I think a week or two weeks ago about prices going up. Video game numbers have just constantly gone up. This Luka 175 now. Booker was like 45 50 for a long time now. It's at 70. Durant at 120. So pretty crazy. Also, some of the rookies here, we're looking at Jalen Williams, kind of a random rookie on the Thunder. I guess he's been okay, but you could see earlier just this week in January, he was selling for like 13, 12 bucks. And now all of a sudden, his has doubled for seemingly no reason other than he's been playing decently well and same thing here on evaluate market we can look at paulo bancaro came in his moment at 50 and then it was 80 90 for a while you can see here just last week and now this one has been selling in the low hundreds 120 110 112 so kind of crazy on top shot so now let's get back into nba so rare here because that's what most people here came to see so First thing we got here, if you aren't signed up for So Rare, use my link to sign up. You'll get 20 free cards to play in a contest such as this. And off the bat, we notice some teams that don't have that many games on this four-day slate. So the Mavericks have one game. So you could maybe think about uh, avoiding some Mavericks. And same with the Kings, but some other teams, uh, the Bulls as well. But then we got the Minnesota Timberwolves with three games and the raptors as well have three games and i believe that's the only teams that have three games on the slate which obviously give you more chances and another interesting thing is if we go all the way to the bottom the magic don't have any games on this slate so definitely don't play magic players on this one and looking for some value here i'm going to keep going back to the suns with chris paul campaign booker cam johnson all out could still get some pretty good plays and deals here. Torrey Craig is just $11. His cap's now up to 23, but you can see he hit a 27, 25, 35, 32 in his last five games. So Torrey Craig is probably my favorite, even at a cap of 23. Uh, and 11 bucks is pretty reasonable. Dwayne Washington, his cap's up there as well at 22. A little cheaper at just 8 bucks, and he can hit... Yeah, he hit a 30 and a 28 and a 24, so he can cover this price and a little bit more. So I kind of like Dwayne Washington still, and 8 bucks is a pretty good deal. And then with Clay Thompson being out for at least Monday's game, maybe even more, Jordan Poole at a cap of 32 should see extended run. Can hit a 45, 39 even with Steph in the lineup, and without Clay, just opens up a lot more so hopefully he can get something in the 40s but 33 dollars pretty expensive the other one that we talked about last week that really hit was walker kessler and his cap was probably lower but without olenic he's been getting a ton of minutes hit a 47 and 37 in his past week so his cap went up a little bit but still going to be a great play with olenic out so with some of these teams that have three games they have some injuries. The Minnesota Timberwolves have injuries. Gobert could miss. Cat is going to be out. And Anthony Edwards might be out as well. So there's just a ton of guys that you could go to. Torian Prince actually may be out as well for the next game. But at a cap of just 13, if he plays and Anthony Edwards doesn't play, just be wary of that news. He can hit you 25 here. And that was only in 19 minutes. He could see closer to like 27, 26 minutes. And has this a low cap. The other obvious one is going to be Nas Reed, who went crazy when Gobert was out and still has been playing well. 27, 28, 
but had some like massive games before this. So even at a high cap of 25, I think can be a good value play. Assuming Gobert is going to be out at least one of these games next week. You could also look to Kyle Anderson, but his cap's pretty high at 26. Jalen Noel, Noel, cap only 19, price $14, so fairly affordable and reasonable. Hit a 30 last game. So I think this one's actually pretty slept on here. Just a cap of 19 and a price of just $14. I think you could get some real good value out of Noel. So now moving on to the Raptors. They don't have as many injuries. Otto Porter Jr. is still going to be out. Fred Van Vliet might be out. And that's when you would go with a Malachi Flynn cap of 10 and just $8. And... He's still, he's been playing actually a long slot or in games with Van Fleet in the lineup still. So I think he would get a huge bump in minutes if Van Fleet does miss one of these three games. And a cap of just 10. I mean, you can see last week he paid off that by five plus points, his cap, and Van Fleet was still in the lineup. So Flynn, I think, is a really good pickup and just $8. Pretty. Good one there if you're looking for a steal. All right, guys, so one of the most important things I actually didn't mention, hopefully you guys made it to the end of the video, is that game week 26 starts in 15 hours from now, which means it starts at 1 o'clock Eastern time. So make sure to get your lineups in. I'm going to just get them in tonight. So hopefully you're watching this tonight or in the morning because these lock early so uh, that actually gives people an advantage that know about this and are planning for an early lock because Monday you usually don't get early locks but you're going to get one here so make sure to get your lineups in early hopefully you're watching this before your lineups lock and subscribe to the channel sign up for so rare and NBA top shot if you haven't and I'll catch you guys in another video